My name is Nashi Katron and I live right here in Los Angeles, California. And the position I play here for the LA Bobcats is quarterback. I started playing football last year, but COVID hit, so it got wiped out. So technically, I am a rookie. This is my very first season here with the Bobcats. One word that describes me as a player is unrelenting. I don't let up. And the coaches have faith in me in that. I've always been that type of athlete. My teammates got faith in me in that. I got faith in my teammates. So if you anybody else from any other team and you coming for me, Come with your whole life, come with your whole team, come with your whole coaching staff, because you ain't gonna get me by yourself. And I'm not gonna let up, not once. Being a rookie on this team, the thing that I love most playing with the Bobcats thus far is the camaraderie. It's instant, it's present, the chemistry is there. Before football, I did always grow up playing sports. Um, I was a very, very avid tennis player growing up. I also played Division one basketball, professional MMA, and now I'm here on the football squad. Fun fact about me is that apparently I don't wear enough clothes in practice, and the coaches love to call me Willie Beeman because I like showing up on game day pretty tapered. But I like showing up like that every day, so at least it's not just on game day. I like to look nice. I like to dress nice. Since it was just National Hustle Day, I gotta go with Nipsey Hustle, especially right before he passed. Um, the things that he was moving to accomplish, especially here in our local community, especially with STEM, somebody that works in STEM, somebody that's also in minority in STEM. Um, I would have loved to actually had a sit down dinner with him to see where he wanted to go, what he wanted to do with it, so that way I can also participate and help continue that. One of my favorite quotes is gonna be from Maya Angelou. My mission in life is not simply to survive, but to thrive with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. And if we're spending so much time trying to be normal, we'll never know how amazing we can be. I want my legacy to be whatever God's purpose for me is to be, to be able to influence somebody in a positive light so that way they can see a representation of who they can be versus everybody else in the entire world telling you who you can't.